In today's video, we find out if the 2009 10s or the 2010 10s are better. What's up guys, we're back with another versus video where we find out if the 2009 10 series or the 2010 10, I say 10 and 10 the same way, this is always very difficult when I do these 2010 10s, very confusing and redundant, we're gonna find out which one's better. But first, of course, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Axe of Despair from uh, Magic Ruler, not Spell Ruler, Magic Ruler. Then we have a Thousand Dragon from Metal Raiders, and we have a Dark Paladin from Duel Masters Guide. So you can get all three of these by liking the video, being subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know in the comments if you think 2009 or 2010 will win, and which one you think is better by the end. All right, we are gonna let the younger of the 10s, the 2010 Blackwing Dragon 10 go first. We have opened up one of these before, Pretty solid stuff. We've got some nice promos and some packs inside, but let's just check out on the back real quick. We got one Stardust Overdrive, two Absolute Power Force, two Shining Darkness, one Secret Rare, Black Wing Dragon, four Super Rare cards, Green Baboon, Wicked Eraser, Vayu's in here. I forgot about that, but it makes sense because it's a Black Wing 10. So pretty good card. I did get the reprint recently, so probably not as valuable anymore. Let's see what's inside. We just read what's inside, but let's actually see it in the flesh. Here we go. We have the Black Wing Dragon. Very nice. I might open this up and see if we can grade these to go along with some of the other ones I've opened recently. The Galaxy has Photon Dragon and stuff. We have where you could win. Uh, I mean, not win, but you could basically just get in on the Shonen Jump subscription and just get those cards, which was cool back in the day. We got the Shining Darkness. Still never pulled a Blackwing Dragon myself. I would love to pull it. Be pretty sick. We've got two Absolute Power Force and then a Stardust Overdrive. So I think I don't think I've pulled that one either. All right, let's open this up. I want to see if we can potentially grade this Blackwing Dragon. I'm going to have a little fun with that real quick. See if maybe it's in gradable condition. It's probably not, but let's see. We have a Secret Rare. It's a little warped, but it's not too bad. Honestly, looks pretty clean. I'm probably going to send this in at a, you know, the bulk rate, along with the uh, Galaxy S Photon Dragon I got the other day. So that's pretty cool. All right, the other promos we get are the Green Baboon, Wicked Eraser. Vayu is probably the coolest one. Chim oh, Chimera Tech Fortress I actually need for some of my Edison stuff. So that's a couple great Edison cards. Not bad. I somehow didn't read the Chimera Tech on the back. But I somehow do not have enough of these for all of my Edison decks. So I'm definitely going to pull those out. That's pretty sick. Okay, I think we start off with Shining Darkness. Let's see if we can pull the Black Winged Dragon. Come on, you got to believe. One, two, three. That would be so sick to pull a Ghost Shore. Even an ulti would be really nice. Ultra, I'd take it. Archfiend Interceptor. Card Breaker, let's go. Blossom Bombardment. Gen X Undyne. Infernity Breaker. Infernity Randomizer. Oh, an ultimate rare herald of perfection i didn't do the right pack trick because that was the third to last card this card in first end i think is like 60 or 70 so this is probably quite a bit i would guess i mean it's unlimited so sometimes that you know makes it go down a lot but if it's like playable then it might not hurt as much this is probably worth at least 20 bucks so maybe even up to like 40 if it's you know a very playable card so that's a sick pull that is amazing. An actual useful ultimate rare out of an old pack. We're taking that every time. That really snuck up on me because, like, it was the third card. Yeah, the, the pack trick. So we got to think about how the pack trick works here. So that time I did three, and then it was this card. So this was the rare. So let's do this. Hopefully not damaging any Ghost Racer. You got to be really careful. Reptilian Guard. Now we got a Viper's Rebirth. Apocate Quill. Reptilian Serpent. Variety comes out. Sword Master. I can't believe we just pulled an ulti in the first pack. Lair Wire. That is... Okay, the uh, 2010 is way ahead right now of the 2009. They got a lot of work to do. Here we go. And a Cards of Consonants. This is money, too. I think it's like 2 or $3. I mean, yeah, it's not compared to that ulti, but for a super rare, this is a very strong value. The value on 2010 is crazy right now. Okay, so we are two for two. What a 10. We got Stardust Overdrive. Let's see if we can pull something. They've got some good commons in here. A lot of them have been reprinted, but we just destroyed that pack. Still a lot of good ones to pull. I think the way we do it, what did we do last time? We did this. Okay, no, we did this. Let's do a little craziness. Let's see if we can pull that Ghost Rare. Infernity Force. Quick draw Synchron. Good Edison card. This is just Edison time period, so there's going to be a lot of good Edison cards. Synchro Barrier. Level Eater. Spider Egg. Reptilian Scylla. Toon Magician. We got the Zero Guard now. Okay, it should be the next card. Here we go. Come on, 2010. Let's go. All right, finally got a common. No big deal. We've had a lot of really good pulls. I kind of want to finish with that and get the Black Wing. I don't think I've ever pulled the Majestic Red either. All these 5Ds, I've really only had luck with Ancient Prophecy. That's basically it. I pulled like three uh, Ancient Fairy Dragons. That's it. Everything else, I have not had good luck. I think this is what we do. Get a little crazy there. We got the Power Invader, Viper's Rebirth, Power Supplier, 
Unicycular, the third of the brothers following Tricular and Bicular. Was Tricular the oldest brother and they were Bicular and then Unicycular? Interesting. We got the uh, ritual. It seems like Uni would be first. Of Destruction, Forgotten Temple of the Deep, Informer Spider, pretty cool. Skull Conductor, and is this it? The final card. Gravekeepers, Stele. Le, 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 le. Shining Darkness, here you go. So far, Shining Darkness blesses us with our best pull of the video, easily. Can it bless us with another one? So I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna go, all right, this is the potential foil, so I'm just gonna do one. I'm not gonna mess around with the rare, who cares? Phantom Hand, Worm Call, let's get that Blackwing, Synchro Magnet. Leeching the Light, Trigon, Blackwing Strafe, Infernity Beetle, it should be two away. We got the Fairy Archer, and here we go. Will it be a foil? Let's go. Spore, a little cotton ball, okay. We can't really complain, Herald of Perfection was a big pull. All right, 2009, you got your work cut out for you. This isn't gonna be easy, for sure. Well, let's check it out first. We have second launch, so this is 2009 second launch. They had two different launches, so we're comparing it to the second launch here. Two Stardust Overdrive, pretty cool. One Ancient Prophecy, we've had good luck with those. One Raging Battle, one Crypsis Crisis, and one Secret Rare, so they don't actually have the promos in here. So 2010 has a little advantage there because they had four other Super Rare cards to go along with their promo. I think that was a really cool idea to have. Not only one, but five promos. And like, usually they were pretty good for the time. Like the uh, the one we opened the other day had like Patch of Cephalo. It had a uh, Solemn Warning. This one had Chimera Tech and the Vayu. I almost forgot already. We just saw it. Okay. All right, here we go. Whoa, this thing is uh Oh, they, don't, they didn't put this in anything? What in the world? It's like 2009. Wait, whoa, how is this minty? Okay, that's sick. It's minty. We'll probably grade this. It's a little off center. Okay, this, this would get like an eight, but maybe we'll send it in anyway. It'd be fun. Oh yeah, and this one has the sleeves. I forgot about this. This might add a little value. It's not very many sleeves. It's like an extra deck worth of sleeves, but that's something that the other one didn't have. Okay, Stardust Overdrive, two of those. Any of these first dead? I don't think they are. They're all unlimited. Ancient Prophecy, Raging Battle, and Crimson Crisis. Okay, we will start off with Stardust Overdrive. A lot of work to make up here. It's gonna be interesting to see if we can make the comeback. I mean, a Ghost Rare does it for sure. So if we get a Ghost Rare, it would be pretty big. Let's see if we can do it. It is Quacky Mirror Sea Panther. Slip Summon. Ritual Buster, Hercule Herculean Power, Solitaire Magician, Regulus, Fortune Lady Water, whoa, okay, yeah, that's right, okay, Fortune Lady Water, the wait, this is First Dead, okay, this is First Dead, somehow I didn't see these, they're like mixed in, First Dead Packs, Stardust Overdrive, oh my gosh, now I'm freaking out, this could be big, I think this actually might be money, um, if this is a, a ghost right here, it's huge, or any of the secret rares, let's see, Gosh, no way. Not only is it first dead, but it's an ultimate rare majestic star dragon. Oh my god, I didn't even notice it was first edition. And then we pulled this. Not the ghost rare, which would be unbelievable, but this is the next step down, which is we might have just won already. I think we probably just won the battle. That's crazy because the other one did so good, and we've already topped it somehow and went back that is nuts all right so i didn't notice about these first ads 2009 definitely has a has a plus because they're the first ad packs we're gonna save that one for the end now okay let's do uh, ancient prophecy here we go wow wow talk about an awesome pull oh my goodness i saw the 38 and i was like i think that's the right stats i was like synchro 3800 attack Oh my gosh, wow, that is crazy. That looks like a foil for some reason, but I'm pretty sure this one's supposed to be the foil, so I'm just gonna do this. I don't know what's going on here. If it is a foil, it might not even be a foil. Sometimes they look like foils and they're not. Infernity Beast, is that Beast? Yeah, Hero Custom, Sunny Pig, I can't believe we just pulled that. Flintville Counter, Arm Sea Hunter, Water Hazard, Scary Moth. This could, may or may not be the last card, I'm not sure, or the last, if it's a foil. Okay, Ragagura, that's not it. And we have a Solidarity Ceiling. It's just a rare. So it can look like that. It doesn't really mean anything. Wow, what a pull. Raging Battle Unlimited. Here we go. All right. Wow, that's pretty much... That pull makes up for the entire 10, essentially. I don't know if it actually pays for it because these tins are pretty expensive. I think I paid around like 200 bucks for it. Uh, I got it from this guy who was at YCS Pasadena and I dropped it right uh, like right after that. So Mind Trust, Morphtron Vidion. I've had this sitting here for like since then. Wicked Rebirth, Attack of the Cornered Rat, Giga Stone Omega, Mirror of Oaths, Moha. I think it's two away. Fake Feather. Here we go. Can we pull another Ghost or Ultimate Rare? Let's go. 
Double Tool CD. Okay, CD Lamb, not that great. Two packs to go. Still one more first edition Stardust Overdrive. Crimson Crisis, you gotta believe. Let's go. Can we pull the Red Dragon Arch Venus Soul Mode? Haven't pulled that one either. Most of these 5Ds I have not pulled before, so it would be really cool to pull them. Let's go. We have Seed Cannon. I'm pretty sure we pulled that in the last one. Cross Sword, Assault Mode Activate. Didn't we open one of these? Maybe we didn't, actually. Ivy Shackles. Yeah, we didn't open this. Verdant Sanctuary. Morphtronic Borden. He's bored. In. Mysterious Triangle. We got the Descending Lost Star. No rare yet, so I don't think we got anything. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought we did for a second. Planet Pollutant Virus. This reminds me of, what is it, the Rain Village? Naruto? The one where it's all depressing and stuff with the uh, pain. You will know pain. All right, 2009 versus 2010. Unless I'm overvaluing that, they should have already won, but that's all they've pulled so far. So it might still be close. First edition, we could pull a Ghost Rare and just end it right now. Stardust Overdrive, one, two, three. Let's just go like this. I don't know. Let's just go like that. Let's see what we can get. Reptilian Gorgon, come on. Faustian Bargain. Can we get something crazy? Quacky Miru Sea Panther. We've already gotten something crazy in this video. Too crazy, actually. Spider Spider, two big ultimate rares. Ritual of Grasse. Reptilian Medusa, creepy. Swap Frog, all right, very nice. We have a Time Passage, and finally we have, is it another foil? Shine Palace, all right, a Shine Palace for Pegasus. Okay, no big deal. Wow, I hope we can grade this. I'm gonna grade it, I think, either way, but Majestic Star Dragon, Ultimate Rare First Ed. That was an awesome pull. Hope you guys enjoyed this versus video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content and hopefully more epic pulls like that in the future. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Miss Cycle, James Jance, Frankie Martinez, Ananda Tai Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.